hello and welcome to this video once again um, in this uh, video i'm going to demonstrate to you on how to share the video from your youtube channel private channel uh, to moodle and uh, this time i'm going to focus on how to embed the video so in the previous video we shared the video through direct uh, uploading of the video and we also shared the video via link we had an error but yeah, we'll look at that error later, but in this particular one, we'll then have to look at the second option of sharing the video uh, through embedding, getting the, the uh, ATMA course to embed it, All right? So still on our um, sandbox course, and um, still on this section that I added, I'll turn my editing on, and um, I would want to, let me just have a better, Okay, then I would want to add <clears throat> a page. I would want to add a page, but remember you'll be able to um, you'll be able to add this one to any page, whether it's a page as a single page or a page, let's say a page within um, uh, uh, within a lesson or within a book or even on on assessment. Any on any editor, you will be able to add these videos, right? So let's say we are going to title this uh, video um, sharing video on YouTube. Okay, so we can, it, it's a good idea to add the description here. I didn't say this in the previous video, but it's always necessary for the sake of universal design, it's necessary to put a bit of a description here. Uh, but because of uh, I want to I do not want to make this video long I will go straight to the content and uh, this also one thing I didn't emphasize in the previous video is that you you need to put sort of instruction or or a, a short forward to to this video okay might be some instruction okay might be what this video or in this in this video or this video demonstrate or you learn something like that but never leave the video just uh, hanging by itself so you need to put some sort of instructions okay so i said this time we want to we want to embed the video so we um, i'm just going to go to my uh, channel uh, here and then i will i'll have to choose um a video that I would like to share here. I think, okay, let me just confirm. We made the reference to sharing video on YouTube. So I want to embed that particular one. So, okay, um, the one for sharing on YouTube is here. So if I open it on YouTube, then I, I choose the option to share. Need to stop it spraying on the background. Um, I don't want to share the link, so I want to. Share the video. OK, once again, I need to pause it here so that it doesn't. So if I go to the share options, I will choose the embed options and then I'll copy the codes. I come to my Moodle. Then if I'm sharing by means of um, embedding it, I'll need to watch how I expand these uh, options. Or, uh, and then I have to go for the um, HTML code sign. And then once I click there, I go to the next line and then I just paste. Okay, and then from there, okay, this is a description. Sorry, sorry, this is a description. So I need to, undo here. I almost added it to the description, but I intend to add it to the actual content. So I expand here to get, then I just paste it. Then from there, okay, I will not pay attention to the other settings here. Uh, you can, but I think it's necessary especially the appearance, you would want to um, uh, display these details, okay, other, 
I think it's you can go straight to save and display and see how it appears. Okay, you see this video displays directly into Moodle and the students will still have the option to watch it on YouTube. So if the student choose to watch it on YouTube, if they click on this option, they'll have a chance to watch it on YouTube. Okay. <clears throat> so in this case, the instruction will still be here and uh, you will still be able to add a bit of um, more instruction if necessary. But yes, this is it. If we play this video, it will you can see that it plays directly um, on, on, on Moodle. All right, thank you very much. In the next video, we'll then look at how do we share the video um, through another tool um, such as the HTML5, I mean, yes, it's H, um, H5P, um, so that we can add a bit of more interactivity.